I certainly do. Our first college student is a junior at UCLA, majoring in political science. From Los Angeles, California, help welcome Ken Marksman. Hi there, Ken. Great. And she is concentrating on comparative religion and dance at Pomona College from Claremont, California. Here's Adrian Harrell. Adrian. Hi, And he attends the University of Michigan and plans a career in sports law. From Canton, Ohio, say hello to Steve Shapiro. Hi there, Steve. How's it going? See you a little later with some bargains of it. Get acquainted with these young people before we get into the match. Ken, you're a political science major? Yeah, that's right. I'd like to go to law school and maybe eventually become an entertainment lawyer, something in the Hollywood uh, area. Sounds like it'll be interesting. Nice to have you with us. Thank you. Adrian, uh, comparative religion and dance. You're going to try to combine those in some Yes, way? I'd like to try and combine them and teach one or the other. Oh, but not the two together there, right? Well, if I could make a way. Unfortunately, it hasn't been done for me, so I have to devise a plan by myself. All right, well, good luck with it. Nice to have you here. And Steve, sports law, anything in particular that you want to do beyond well, just sports in general? Or what? I'd like to go to law school and one day represent athletes in contract negotiations. Sounds good. Maybe you and Ken go into a partnership. We, we might do it. All right. Good to have all of you here. You know how we play the game. We'll sign all three of you off with $20 and get into it with this question. Name the adventurous archaeologist played by Harrison Ford in Raiders, Ken. Oh, uh... uh, uh in Raiders of the Lost Ark, Indiana it was Jones. Indiana Jones. Yeah, the, don't be nervous now. Relax. Here, I know you know that one. Unfortunately, the buzzer came first, and it cost you five going down to 15 for the incorrect answer. In movie ratings, what do the letters PG say? Ken! Parental guidance. Boy, he settled down quick, didn't he? Yeah, he got the five right back. Five dollars for the correct answer, and you're back up to 20. Name the only U.S. president whose first name was Zachary. Steve. Zachary Taylor. Yeah, incidentally, there were none of them named Beauregard. I just thought I'd throw it. You're right, for five, you go to 25. The gang in the comic strip who attend the Birchwood Elementary School were created by Charles Schultz. Steve. Peanuts. Yeah, they all go to Birchwood Elementary at Peanuts, and Steve has another five. He goes to 30. What color hair do you have if you're a towhead? Adrian. Blonde. Blonde it is. Adrian's first five on the plus side. She goes to 25. But it is time now for an instant bargain, and the player in the lead can buy bargain merchandise. Steve, that's you. You've got a $5 lead over Adrian, $10 lead over Ken. Can we interest you in this? Steve, we want you to have time for college. So here's this handsome man's watch. Quartz precision and timely styling combine in this distinctive gentleman's watch from Gordon's. And it's normally priced at $350. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $5. <laughs> Look who carries the books. Great watch. $350 watch. Steve. Now, you become a successful attorney. This watch will really help you with clients. My parents have been trying to get me to wear a watch for years. I just never you, have gotten one. You, no, you've <laughs> never wanted to? Uh, Maybe I can help. See, your parents, they didn't know how to influence you. $350 watch cost you only $5. You'd be in a tie with Adrian. I'll be your parent for a moment. Steve, take the watch, and I'll give you 200 bucks in cash to go with you. <laughs> going! Going! See, that's how you do it. Enjoy the watch. Enjoy the money. Cost you just five dollars, and no one ever explained it like that, Thanks, right? Dad. <laughs> that cost you just the five. You're in a tie with Adrian Ken, just one question behind. Enjoy that. With measurements of 19, 19, 19, it's easy to see why Popeye's in love with her. Ken! Olive oil. Olive oil it is, yes. We've got a three-way tie at 25. In what country are you vacationing if you're relaxed to go to the beach at Acapulco? Adrian. Mexico. Mexico it is, and the lady goes into the lead by five. Who led a group of outlaws, which included Alan Adele, Friar Tuck, and Little John? Ken? Robin Hood. Robin Hood it is, and Ken and Adrian now on the drive for first place. Well, all three young players are going for that buzzer, and now we're going for a pick of the board with a fame game. Buzz in when you know famous people. We are a musical group that traces its beginnings back to the early 60s. Two of us set in with Alexis Corners Blues Incorporated and then joined up with a drummer and two other members to form the group that plays under our present name. Then and now, we maintain an irreverent approach to rock and roll. We have at least 100 records to our credit. Steve? Grateful Dead? No, incorrect. And you're not, no dollar value. You're playing for a pick of the board. You stay at 25, but out of the rest of the question. We'll clear the board, continue for Ken and Adrian. Uh, we have at least 100 records to our credit, including Satisfaction. Ken? The Rolling Stones. Yes, indeed, the Rolling Stones it is. Ken, you've earned yourself a pick of the board with nine numbers up there. You'll get what's behind the number you pick. Uh, well, let's start with number five. And behind number five, we have $10. $10 money card. You add that to Ken's score, 
And he jumps into the lead by $10 over Adrian. I love that. The Rolling Stones, Alexis Corners, Blues Incorporated. We'll be right back. You'd like to become a contestant on Sale of the Century? Call area code 213-557-3555. And now back to Jim Perry and Sale of the Century. And back to a good college week match with all three players going for that buzzer. That's always nice. It is Ken now by virtue of that $10 money card on the lead at 40, Adrian at 30. Steve has got a beautiful watch and some cash at 25. You spread Dijon all over the top of your hot dog. Steve. Mustard. That's what Dijon is, and Steve ties Adrian for second place. According to the musical group Tears for Fears, everybody wants Steve. To rule the world. Yeah. world. What? To rule the world. Yes, indeed. You've got it for another five in second place at 35. There's a new term for bodybuilding called pumping... See? Pumping iron. Pumping iron is what it is. And now Steve and Ken are in a tie for first place. You can get a picture of this president for five cents. Ken? Oh, uh, Jefferson. Yeah, his portrait's on a nickel. Thomas Jefferson's exactly who it is. Nicely solved. Ken goes to 45. Well, Ken, by going into the lead there with Thomas Jefferson, you've got a $5 lead over Steve. Ken, maybe you'd like this. Ken, if you buy this instant bargain, a lot will develop. It's a compact 35-millimeter motorized camera with a snap-on flash, plus an automatic slide viewer and a supply of Agfa chrome film with processing, furnished by Agfa Gavers, and they're normally priced at $509. And today on Sale of the Century, they're yours for only $10. Over $500 worth of camera. Film the whole... Could you use a new camera? I sure could. I need one badly. Oh, well, that's... <laughs> See, that's not the smart thing to say, Ken. No. Say, I'm not so sure if I want a camera. I'm really not that sure whether I need a camera. <laughs> well, Ken, now, since you're not sure, I can't sell it to you for $10. I'll have to cut the price in half. You'll be in a tie with Steve for five bucks. You got the camera, the film, over $500. Going once! Give it a go. Going twice! And you got it. All right. Enjoy that. Thank you. Beautiful camera, the film, and all it cost you was five dollars. You're in a tie with Steve. Adrian just ten dollars behind. Adrian, come on, you gotta get in the lead. I'm going, I'm going. All right. This word describes the young of many animals, including the wolf, bear, and tiger. Ken. Cub. Cub is what it is, and Ken gets that five right back. He's back in the lead. If you were a patient of a periodontist, you would be asked to open your what? <laughs> periodontist? That's a, that's a dentist. You'd have to open your mouth. We also would have accepted wallet, but uh, <laughs> not, no one wanted to try it. What lovely Atlantic island gives its name to a type of shorts, an onion, and a triangle? Steve. Bermuda. That's what they've all got in common. Bermuda it is. Steve again ties 10 for first place. What rocky remnants of past life are studied by a paleontologist? Adrian. Fossils. Fossils or bones? Yes, indeed. And Adrian pulls it with a $10 to the gentleman. What is the occupation of the following people? William de Koenig, Paul Cezanne, Jackson... Steve! It's a painter. And painter. Jackson Pollock, they're all painters, and Steve goes into the lead by five. Yeah! <laughs> of course, de Koenig and uh, Cezanne and Pollock uh, specifically are very modern painters, and uh, Mark Twain, once talking about modern painters, said uh, about a famous artist, his painting looks like a tortoiseshell cat having a fit in a plate of tomatoes. We've got players from all different colleges. Steve Shapiro from the University of Michigan at 50, and Ken Markman from UCLA at 45. Adrian from, uh, Adrian Harrell from Pomona College with Salsinger That's in Southern right. California, right? Here yes, in Claremont. All righty, let's get back to the fame game now with the three of you. And a $10 money card was found before. There's a $15 money card up there now someplace. We're looking for a famous thing. I am a comic strip that began in the Yale University Daily News in 1968. <laughs> Ken. Doonesbury? You are right, my goodness. Very little information, and Ken earns himself a pick of the board. Uh, how about number one? And behind number one, we have $1,000! You don't mind that, Ken, do you? Not at all. Not at all. $1,000 in cash. Wait, that uh, goes right in your pocket. That is yours to keep, no matter how you finish in the game. Good for you. That $15 money card stays up there. We'll add a big $25 money card later. All three players now with this. The only New England state without an Atlantic coastline calls it... Massachusetts? Oh, no, I was going to say calls it capital Montpelier. Vermont has no coastline there. Vermont. And you lose $5 down to four. Ken's still shaky from that $1,000 he found there. In the United States, what month contains our longest day of the year? Uh, I think the buzzer hit for... Uh, I'll have to check with our judge. Okay, we'll allow you to answer. 
Uh, uh, Steve, I'm uh, sorry. It's June? Yes, it's June 21st to be exact. Try to check with our judge whether you hit that buzzer ahead of, uh, ahead of their buzzer, and you've got another five, see? Eric Clapton, clear the board. Cla Eric Clapton and Pete Townsend joined 100,000 Irish fans to help this rocker sing Born in the USA at Ireland. Ken? Bruce Springsteen. At Ireland's Slane Castle, Bruce Springsteen it is. Ken beats everyone in the buzzer, goes to 45. But Steve, again, you have the lead. You've got a $10 lead, Steve. Oh, Steve, would this be terrific? Woo! Steve, become a pinball wizard with this exciting baseball pinball machine. Get pennant fever and enjoy many of the thrills of the all-American game of baseball in a modern version with realistic ballpark speech and sound effects from Circle International Company. And it's normally priced at $2,195. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $15. Boy. I'm not sure if this is college week or the redoing Blackboard Jungle here. Now, Steve, do you like this? It's beautiful. You live in a dorm or what? And, uh, and I lived in a fraternity house. Oh, could you boy, bring this to the fraternity the guys house? guys would love me. They, they would, would love, love it. It is terrific. As long as they wouldn't break it, I'd, uh... You, we have but, a history oh, of breaking... Guys in a fraternity house? What would they do that could break anything? They're your brothers. <laughs> Steve, it's over $2,000. It is a beauty. $2,195. Normally it would cost $15. But you have a $10 lead, so I'm going to knock $5 off that price. You can have it for $10. You'd be in a tie with Ken over $2,000 worth for $10. Bucks. Going once, going twice, and no sale. Oh, Steve, you should have bought. There's a, oh, a sale surprise went with it. If you had bought it, you also would have gotten $500 more in cash. Sorry about that. Well, the guys. Not as sorry as I am, Jim. That's right. You're really going to hear it from the guys in the fraternity house about that. But Steve's got the lead. Can he hang on? We'll find out as we finish things up right after this. <laughs> Lit up with members of the Sigma Alpha Nu fraternity saying, Why didn't you buy that, Steve? <laughs> Steve's at 55, Ken's at 45, Adrian at 35, back with us. According to legend, he placed his coat over a mud puddle so that Queen Elizabeth could cross. Name him. Oh, a little before your time. Anybody in the audience, sir? So Walter Raleigh did that. Give $5 to the lady out there. <laughs> the Erie Canal is completely contained within one state. Adrian. New York. New York it is, and Adrian hits the $40 mark. Make it even closer. Who replaced Walter Cronkite as anchorman? Steve. Stan Rather. It is Steve. It was Dan Rather, and Steve goes to $60. Yes. Third and final crack now at the fame game. Somewhere up there, a big $25 money card. We're looking for a famous person. I am a president of the United States, born in the 18th century in Virginia. My half-brother Lawrence had great influence on me. I helped Lord Fairfax survey his lands and was commissioned a major in the Virginia militia at age 20. I helped the British fight the French and Indians. Built Fort Necessity, Ken. George Washington. George Washington, yes. One of those people, it's so self-evident that we never ask a question about it. But indeed, it is George Washington. A Ken, you found $1,000 last time. What are you going to find this time? Let's try and find another one. How about number three? And behind number three, we have $500. Oh, more dollars in cash for Ken. We didn't find those other two big money cards, though. Where were they? Behind the seven and the two. But Ken found another 500 in cash. Now we finish up the game with a speed round. May I have 60 seconds on the clock, please? Steve, you're in the lead now at 60. Ken at 45. Adrian at 40. Anyone can win it because I've got a lot of questions as we start the speed round now. What famous newspaper publisher built a huge capsule called San Simeon? Adrian. William Hurst. Right. Name the female rocker who claims that she's a material girl. Steve. Madonna. Right. What animal is the symbol of the Democratic Party? Steve. Uh, the elephant. Wrong. In what U.S. state is Brigham Young University? Steve. Utah. Right. Who wrote the bestsellers The Sicilian and The Godfather? Adrian. Puzo. Right. What are Canasta, Hearts, and Pinochle? Steve. Uh, card games. Right. Who starred in the movie Scarecrow, Scarface, and Serpico? Steve. Al Pacino. Right. What astrological sign is symbolized by the fish? Adrian. Pisces. Right. What rock group features lead singer Annie Lennox? Steve. Eurythmics. Right. What traveling show performs at the big top? Ken. The circus. Right. Ornithology is the study of... A bird. Right. What state is represented by the postal abbreviation C.O.? Steve. Colorado. Right. 
What country did England fight in the Hundred Years' War? France. France. Right. What is the medical trip? Time is up, and Steve is the first champion on College Week. Congratulations, Steve Shapiro. Back to Steve in just a moment. First of all, and Steve, it's the other one. The Democratic Party is the donkey. That's the symbol of the donkey. Got to say goodbye to Ken and Adrian. Well, Ken, my goodness, I look over there and I see that you've got yourself a camera, $1,555 in cash, a one-day total of well over $2,000. Congratulations. Good luck with your studies. Nice to have you here. Adrian, you got rolling there at the end. Uh, unfortunately, you didn't get a chance to pick up anything along the way. We thank you. We've got some lovely party thank gifts you. for you and the cash in front of you. And good luck with your studies thank as well. Thank you very much. But Steve Shapiro is going to join me at the winner's board. Come on up here, Steve. I'm sure the guys at the frat house are proud of you now. Congratulations. Great job. Come on up here. And you're going to face 20 numbers up there on the board. And when you find a match, you could win a, a family of bikes. That should be a lot of fun. There is a jukebox up there. There is a windsurfer. A lot of things that would suit a young person. How about driving around? Would this suit you? Enjoy life in the fast lane with the beautiful Mazda RX-7. The sports car with the rotary engine. With steel-belted radio, tinted glass, and luxurious interior from Crossroads Mazda. And this prize is worth $18,248. Oh, that would be nice driving off to college with that. And Steve was just saying how much it's nice that they've really geared all the prizes to the college week, and that's super. Well, Steve, you're facing 20 numbers up here now, and when you find a match, that prize will be yours. So good luck and start picking, my friend. Number 11. Number 11 to start off with, that's a trip. Now, find the match to that, you've got yourself a trip to the Bahamas. 14. Number 14, and Video Center, and I know you already told me you like that. Number 4. Number 4, with family of bicycles, four of them. Uh, number nine. Number nine, and that is... You got the family of bicycles. Four bicycles. You can supply the whole fraternity house, and Jay will tell you all about them because they're great. Keep the good times rolling with this great family of bikes. Four ultra-lightweight bicycles featuring 14-speed racer and three 12-speed bikes designed for speed and durability from La Mirada Bike Shop. And this prize is worth $1,915. Almost $2,000 worth of bicycles. You gonna bring them all to the fraternity? Well, I got a few friends that might, uh, might want to do some riding in Ann Arbor with me. Okay, all right. Now, you heard it, guys. Now, he's promised he's bringing them back to school, so you enjoy them. That's great. You should have a lot of fun out of those. Congratulations, and we'll add up the total for the day with this fine young champion right after we take time out for this. Well, Steve, of course, you could stay here now. You've got one nice prize off that board. You can stay here to get every prize off that board, plus this. $50,000 in cash. That would take care of the college tuition for a while. <laughs> it, yeah, I think your father especially would appreciate it. You're right. That's over $100,000 in cash and prizes. You got that watch, which you said your parents are going to be happy to get no you into, and some cash and the bikes. A one-day total of $2,465. And college week continues tomorrow. Ben and Dick's on action. $65. Today, one of our contestants can win a home video center, a motor scooter, a jukebox, or a trip to the Bahamas, and continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes, including this Mazda RX-7 and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 on sale of the century. Delighted to have you with us and delighted to have you with us for Sale of the Century. College Week continues. We welcome back our college champion. This is Steve Shapiro. Hi, Steve. Hi, Dan. Good. From the University of Michigan. But, Steve, somebody told me now that you are not a novice at television. You have already been on big-time television. Well, not exactly big-time television. 
What it was that? it was the Milton the Milkman show. It was a uh, Ken. The Milton the big, Milkman. It was a big production in Canton. At the time, it seemed like a big thing, but. Uh... Well, I'm not sure if this is a step up from Milton the Milkman or not. There's the, <laughs> you've done very well with four bicycles. You got a watch, which your family's been wanting you to get, and some cash over two thousand dollars. Ready to go again? I'm ready. I wore my lucky duck tie for Tom Ball and Steve Sugarman. They'd like this. It's very conservative. No? For, for All good right. Luck. Now that you plug the gang, let's find out who's coming out here. Summer Bartholomew will introduce them. Like you stuck his friends in there. Who did you bring? Uh, this student is studying sports and broadcast information at the University of Southern California. From Los Angeles, California, here's Carolyn Silas. Hello there, Carolyn. And he studies economics at UC Berkeley, originally from London, England. Let's welcome Rad Schwab. Oh, there, Rad Schwab, right? Oh, right? right? see you a little later with some missing bargains. Rod, uh, you are studying economics. What are your aims? Well, I'd like to continue to study economics after I graduate and go to Cambridge and then become an economic forecaster. Oh, so you'll be one of those people that we won't believe in the future, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Good to have you here. And Carolyn, uh, sports information. Yeah, I, I someday hope to do some sports broadcasting on news shows or hopefully play-by-play -play of football or basketball. Well, that's terrific. I think a lady should do that. That's nice. Nice to have you here as well. Good luck to all of you. Let's get Thanks. you started with $20 and get into the game with this. What pop singer recently announced her engagement to Russ Kunkel, ex-drummer for her ex-husband, James Taylor? Carly Simon. Carly Simon, yes, $5 for the correct answer. Steve goes to 25 What are deltoids, pectorals, and Steve? Muscles. Muscles, yes, two in a row for the champ, and he goes to 30 According to the old saying, how much would I have to pay for your thoughts? Carolyn. A penny. You don't look old enough for that. You're right. Penny for your thoughts it is. Carolyn goes to 25 so You're going to be a sportscaster. You've got to know cliches. Always yeah, cliches. All of them. <laughs> a dog has a house, a horse has a stable. What kind of home does a chicken have? Coop. Coop it is, Steve. Just beats Rob with the bunker and goes to 35. When you order a pizza, you may ask for everything except the small, salty Steve. Anchovies. Yeah, hold the anchovies. <laughs> and Steve goes to 40. It is time for an instant bargain. Player in the league can buy bargain merchandise. And Steve, you've got a $15 lead already. You can have this. Steve, here's a gift fit for a beauty queen. A lovely ring. Gordon's Jewelers. The subtle elegance of diamond, ruby, emerald, and sapphire stones come together in this selection. Furnished by Gordon's Jewelers. And it's normally priced at $375. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $6. Lovely ring. I'm looking at these pictures here. And that's the real crown, right? You get the, she was uh, she was Miss USA and you get to keep it. Yes, that's terrific. I didn't know I didn't know that you kept the crown and, and the banner and the whole thing. You know, where do you keep them? I, I, uh, in my closet. In oh, a box. Just just hidden away. In a, hidden away. But it's terrific. You know you don't look much different. That's very nice. That's it was only two years ago though, right? There were three. Really. What? <laughs> Steve, oh, get we're, we're sitting here chatting away, and you're sitting eyeing that beautiful ring, aren't you? I'm looking Steve, at that. I great. knew you were. Come on, Steve. It's $375 ring. You've got a $15. Do you have a lady friend? Yeah, possibly? she'd love it. Uh, it would be a fight between her and my mom. I don't know what I'd do. Oh, well, why don't you then divide $200 between them, 100 for each of them. $575 bargain. You still have a $9 lead. Going once, going twice. Hell, didn't want to get in a fight with I the couldn't have, I couldn't have put up with that fight. I don't know what would have happened. Oh, okay. Hanging on to the $15 lead. Back with this. A group of youngsters go on an exciting treasure hunt in Steven Spielberg's latest. Carolyn. Goonies. Goonies it is, and Carolyn goes to 30. Yep. In other parts of the world, it's known as the Bride of the Rain and the Girdle of God. What do we call this arch of colors following a shower? Steve. Rainbow. Rainbow is what it is, and Steve goes to 45. Yep. You bend down and the person behind you jumps over your back. Rod. Leapfrog. That's what you're playing. Leapfrog it is. Rod goes to 25. It is time now for the fame game. And the players are playing for a pick of the fame game board. I know on our last show, one player got $1,000 in cash and again $500. let us see who gets what now. Got to get controlled by knowing a famous person. I was born in Michigan in 1950. I was a 10-year-old boy when I was heard playing the harmonica for other children and was signed by Motown Records. I became their first performer to win complete artistic freedom. My third single, Fingertips Part Two. Steve. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder is right, yeah. 
It was little Stevie Wonder when he was 10 years old, and a fine talent he is. Well, Steve, there are nine numbers up there. As you know, you'll get what's behind the one you pick. Let's try number eight. And behind number eight, we have $10. Well, we have a $10 money car, and we add that to Steve's score. He goes to 55, and it looks like in the next segment, Rod and Carolyn is going to be catch Steve time. We'll find out if they can do it a little later. Right now, we invite your attention to this. At 30, Rod at 25, and this question for five. According to the title of the classic novel by Stephen Crane, what color was the badge, Rod? Red. A red badge of courage it is. And Rod ties caliber second place at 30. This tennis star defeated Martina Navratilova for Steve. Chris Everett Lloyd. Yeah, record of the French Open. It is indeed Chris Everett Lloyd as Steve goes to 60. $30 lead. What are you shopping for if you're pricing fish eyes, wide angles, zooms? Steve. Camera lenses. Cameras or camera lenses, either one acceptable, and Steve goes to 65. English was one of the two official languages of Canada. Carolyn. French. French is the other one. Carolyn, the second place at 35. But Steve, Steve, a big $30 lead. Now, Steve, pay attention to what we're selling here now. <laughs> Steve, you can dive into fashion with Catalina's stylish swimwear in bold colors and practical designs. A variety of outfits for the active lifestyle furnished by Catalina. And it's normally priced at $500. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $11. Now, isn't that nice? Isn't that terrific? I don't know how it would look. I don't wear yellow up very often. Now, I got to check now. $500 worth of... There's more than one now, right? There is more than one. Okay. Over, of course, I can't imagine a $500 bathing suit. Now, that takes care of the problem of the girlfriend and the mother, Steve. Two, that's, two suits, that's two, true. Right. It may even be more than that. It's $500 worth of swimwear. You've got a big lead. You've got a $30 lead. Cost you $11.00. You would still have a big lead, a $19 lead. You would also have $300 in cash, Steve. $11 is all it would cost. You'd have $800 bargain going once, going twice, and he's going to buy. Enjoy that. The family and your girlfriend will enjoy the swimwear. You'll enjoy the cash. And it costs you just $11, and with a big lead, I think you made a good deal, because all you've got to do is win for another crack at that winner's board. Down to, uh, is the score correct? Yes, down to 54, is that right? And Carolyn at 35, Rod at 30. Blood, Bassett, and Gray are three types. Steve. Hounds. Hounds, that's the kind of dogs we're looking for, and Steve is five without 11, right back. The honor code of what military academy says, a cadet will not lie, cheat, or steal. Steve. Navy. Uh, no, nor tolerate those who do. That is West Point. That is West Point. And you lose five. Took a chance. Didn't pay off. To what nation do the islands of Corfu and C Crete belong? Rod. Greece. Greece is exactly right. Rod tries to in again for second place. Astronomers once thought this planet's surface was crisscrossed with canals. Name this red planet. Carolyn. Venus. No. Oh, the red planet? Mars. Mars. And you lose five. You're a sportscaster, Carolyn. I know. What? <laughs> Just having a good time. From, <laughs> from what country do we get the words miso, pachinko, Japan. Japan. Now you're having more fun because you got yeah. one right. Yeah. You're going to 35. Yes. Talking about Japan, Japan is a, a favorite with American tourists, and so they've changed a lot of the signs, so they explain them in English, and they, they do them actually in a direct translation. Here's one. This is true. A direct translation. When a passenger of the foot heave in sight tootled the horn melodiously at first. But if he still obstacles your passage, tootle him with vigor. <laughs> right back. Got the lead. He's at 54. Carolyn and Rod both at 35. But a $15 money card up there someplace. Buzzing when you know famous characters. We are a group of fairy tale characters, first written about many years ago. We all lived together in a cottage in the woods. Rod. Seven dwarfs. Yes, that's right. My goodness. Wow, took a chance. It uh, paid off. Two. And behind number two, we have $600. $700 in cash. Way to go, Rod. Got some new set of that, right? Yeah. You're, how's the economic forecast for you now? Looking better? Yes. Okay. <laughs> that goes right into your pocket. And the money, money cards stay up there. We'll add the 25 a little later. Les Paul, Jeff Beck, Jimi Hendrix, Steve. Guitar. That's right. That's what they have in common. They all play guitar. Steve to 59. Well, what river does Shakespeare's birthplace at Stratford lie? Rod. Avon. Avon, that's right. Stratford on Avon, and Rod goes to 40. 
Chuck Norris stars as a tough cop who gets tougher in the new movie, Code of... Carolyn. The Ninja? No, 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 no. <laughs> he did a lot of ninja, but yes. Code of Silence. Code of Silence, that's his newest one and all. <laughs> but Chuck will be glad that you remember his older ones, too. <laughs> Sorry about that, Carolyn. You lose five for the incorrect answer. And it is time for an instant bargain and Steve a $19 lead. Night off. Steve, you go to the frat house. Would they love it if you brought this in? Steve, just for the record, we have this next, next, this next instant bargain. One of the finest integrated audio systems from Denmark. Elegantly designed with fantastic sound. Turntable, cassette recorder, and AM, FM receiver. Furnished by Beverly Stereo. And a library of record albums, including Rick Springfield's album, How. Furnished by RCA Records. And it's normally priced at $1,395. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only Sixteen dollars. Sixteen dollars. Look at that. How come you talk better with the crown on? <laughs> now, Steve, that is great. Look at the size of that. That is so compact. It's awful compact. I, and tapes, records, the whole thing. That you could just take that to the frat house in in a suitcase. I mean, it's so nice and small. Thirteen hundred ninety-five dollars it would cost, but it would cost you sixteen dollars. You have a $19 lead. If you bought it, your lead would be cut to less than a question. That makes it tough, doesn't it? Does it does make it tough. Boy. It's very difficult. Can I make it a little more difficult, Steve? How, How much more about difficult? Maybe they didn't give you enough records with that deal. I think maybe you should have some more records. The record player, the records, and in addition, Look at that, says Carolyn. Boy, isn't it amazing? Well, she really knows what counts, doesn't she, Ray? That $500 in cash. Those are real. Those are real. You would still have the lead. Yes, it's very real. You would still have the lead, but you'd have that beautiful record player. Your fingers are reaching, Steve. They're sneaking over there. Are they going to hit it? Going! Going! And... Come on, he's not hitting it! Hit it with another 200 bucks in cash. Going, going, no sale. Oh, Steve, did you hear that, Bunzer? I've got 700 in cash, and Elaine has how much is it? Another $800. $1,500 down the drain. We'll be right back. Oh, Steve. Steve Shapiro was so mad. He said, every time I don't buy, you hit the buzzer. I'm sorry about that, Steve. You've got the lead, though. You're at 59. Rod's at 40. Carolyn at 30. We're back with this. David Green, later known as David Ben-Gurion, was the first prime minister of Steve. Israel. Israel is right. Yes, David Green is his name first. And you got another five over the $60 mark. What Dickens' tale begins with? It was the best of times, Rod. Tale of two cities. It was the worst of times. It was indeed a tale of two cities, Rod of 45. Known for his ghoulish movie roles, this famous actor teamed with Michael Jackson to record the... Steve! Uh, Vincent Price. That's right. He was on Thriller. Vincent Price it is. It just came out there. Another five for Steve going to 69. Well, Carolyn and Rod, if you're going to catch him, you might need that big $25 money card up there on the board. Third and final crack of the fame game and a famous person. I was born in Virginia in 1856 with the first name Thomas and became the first president of the United States to hold a press conference. Carolyn? Jefferson? No, 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 no. I'm sorry about that. Incorrect. Out of the rest of the question. But no dollar value. You stay at 30. However, you're out of the rest of the question. You're playing for a pick of the board. Rod and Steve will clear the board. Continue for you. I became a lawyer, a football coach, and president of Princeton University. Rod? Woodrow Wilson. Woodrow Wilson is right. Yeah, he was the first to have a press conference. Interesting. Well, Rod, that board's been good to you so far. What now? Nine. And behind number nine, we have Mystery Money or Pick Again. Rod, I will tell you that you are at $45. Steve is in the lead at 69. You can pocket the money. We don't know how much. Or you can try another number, maybe find a money card. Your decision. Can't pass that up. One. And behind number one, we have $400 or Pick Again. Now we know exactly how much money you would be passing up. Do you want the 400 or do you want to try to find the money card? Six. 
And behind number six, we have fabulous fashions for the lady in your life. A beautiful Joy Stevens direction wardrobe featuring career and evening wear. Fashions designed for daytime and fun time. Furnished by Joy Stevens direction. Well, the is an even trade if you want ladies' fashions, because it's $400 worth of ladies' fashions. I know he was looking for those two big money cards. Where were they? Behind the number four and the five. Oh, right up the middle. And that probably was the next place he was thinking of, too. Well, we finish up the game now with a speed round. 60 seconds on the clock. I know Steve is happy that he didn't find a big money card. He's in the lead at 69. Rod at 45. Carolyn at 30. Good luck. We start the speed round now. According to the old saying, a dog's bark may be worse than... Carolyn. Bite. Right. On which American holiday would you traditionally plant a tree? Rod. Um, Washington's birthday. Wrong. Whose hit records include Bad Girls and She Works Hard for the Money? Rod. Donna Summer. Right. The two traditional colors on a barber pole are red and Steve. White. Right. How many sides has a decagon? Carolyn. Seven. Wrong. The portrait of what president replaced Benjamin Franklin's on the half dollar? Carolyn. Jefferson. Wrong. What popular British comedy troupe had a TV show called The Flying Steve? Monty Python. Right. One of the seven wonders of the world is the Hanging Gardens of... Carolyn. Eden. Wrong. The tombstone of what writer reads, Quoth the Raven Nevermore? Steve. Uh, egg time. Egg time is up. What TV comedy's theme song was Those Were the Days? Ron Family. Right. Name one of the planets that lies beneath the Earth and between the Earth and the Sun. Venus. Right. What ancient Indian civilization was conquered by Cortez? Time is up, and we'll let you get the other five. It doesn't make any difference, right? Do you know it? Uh, Assex. All right, you got another five. But Steve Shapiro has got the championship. Congratulations. Steve going to get another crack of the winner's board. First of all, uh, it was indeed Poe, but you were clearly late on that. The Hanging Gardens of Babylon, and it is Kennedy who replaced Franklin on the half dollar. There are ten sides on a deck of God. Carol is looking at me like, and, and you plant a tree on Arbor Day. Got to say goodbye. Rod, first of all, you got the ladies' fashions. You've got $660 in cash. A one-day total of $1,060 in cash and prizes. Good luck with your study. Thank you. Carolyn didn't pick up anything along the way, but it looked like you were having a good I time. I had the best time. Thanks a lot, All kids. right, thank you. We got some nice party here for you. Good luck with your studies as well. But Steve Shapiro wanted another crack at our winner's board, and he's got it. Come on, Steve. Congratulations. And I must tell you, I think that what was the buy would have been, what, $16? You won by 14. You would have lost by two. So you made the right decision by not buying. Just thought it might make you feel a little better. I feel better about the $1,500. Right now, you could have a leather wardrobe, a video center, trip to the Bahamas, I know you like. And how about this for transportation, Jay? You'll really go places with this exciting motor scooter. This sleek runabout starts with the push of a button and features digital instrumentation and a spirited 153cc engine from Honda of Santa Monica. And this prize is worth $1,548. That's not bad transportation. You know, Steve, you're looking for a match. You find a match, the prize is yours. Good luck. Start picking. Number two. Number two. And right off the bat, windsurfer. There's another kind of transportation. Number one. Number one. And wind card. Next thing you pick is an automatic match, Steve. Good luck. What are you going to win? Number 16. Number 16 for the win. $10,000 to stand Wow! Way to go, Steve! Come on out here with that. Congratulations. You got it. He's got $10,000. And I suspect right now the happiest people in North America are his parents who are now going to have him pay Challenge. We'll be right back. Don't go away. Way to go. Somebody in the Western audience is on the cutting of the 
overseas kicks. Kids like them because they're crispy, corny, and fun. Moms like them because they're low in sugar with no added colors, no added flavors. Kicks, kid tested, mother approved. And 20 mutine bore action. Natural for freshening and cleaning all the family wash. And it's handy for many household cleaning chores. Plus, Van Melmentos, a delicious candy coated show with the chewy scent of the last almost forever. Available in seven sensational flavors. And a collection of Maybelline long wearing makeup for a natural look which lasts and lasts. Light to the touch of many soft shades. New long wearing makeup by Maybelline. Plus, Flavor Ice, one of the America's favorite quick freeze food flavored bars. 24 giant bars with sort of delicious flavors. Flavor Ice for cool refreshment. And Sunny Delight Florida Citrus Punch brand. Morning, noon, and night, nothing will delight you like Sunny Delight. Now available chilled and frozen. Jim Perry's wardrobe furnished by Botany 500. Some of our Bottomy's wardrobe furnished by Augustus. All prizes are manufacturer suggested retail value and are correct at the time of recording. This is Jay Stewart speaking. $65. Today, one of our contestants can win a home video center, a motor scooter, a jukebox, or a trip to the Bahamas, and continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes, including this Mazda RX-7 and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 on sale of the century. And now, here's the star of our show, Jim Perry. Hello there. Thank you very much. Hi, thank you. Welcome to sale of the century. Welcome back to College Week. And we'd like to welcome back our college champion from the University of Michigan. This is Steve Shapiro. Hi, Steve. Hi, Jim. How are you? Steve, now you've won twice and you kept missing sales surprises. You had no luck with cash, right? Until the last show and you hit $10,000 up there on the winner's board. Congratulations. Oh, Incidentally, that makes you, you were originally from, you are from Ohio. You're from Canton, Ohio, right? Yes. I understand that now makes you the third happiest person in Ohio. The first two are his parents who are not paying for his next year of college now, right? They'll be off the I'm sure they will be. Congratulations again. Ready to go? Very ready, Jim. All right. Here to come out with another couple of good college players is Summer Bartholomew. Hello, Hello there, Summer. Hi. I'm going to some nice young people on you. Yes, I have, and I have a couple more. She's a sociology and French major at San Diego State University from Coronado Del Mar, California. Give a big hand to Jennifer Lightburn. Hi, Jennifer. And he's a sophomore at Brigham Young University majoring in broadcast communications from Newark, Ohio. Give an enthusiastic welcome to Tom Larson. Hi there, Tom. See you a little later with some bargains, Summer. Thank you. Tom, uh, your major broadcasting communications, what are your plans after school? Well, I'd like to become a production executive for a major network and help raise the standards of the media. What that mean? You want to start as an executive? That's terrific. Okay. I must tell you, now you're from Brigham Young. I remember the last time we had College Week, we had a big winner from Brigham Young. So maybe you'll do as well. Nice to have you here. So. Jennifer, uh, you are sociology and French. What are your plans? I plan to go on and get my doctorate and be a family therapist. Sounds like good work. Nice to have you here as well. Thank you. Good luck to all three of you. Let's get you started with $20 in this question. Films of this macho superstar include Paradise Alley, Fist, Perk. Jennifer. Sylvester Stone. That's right. $5 for the correct answer. Jennifer goes to $25. For well, what sport might you ride the T-bar? Skiing. Skiing. Skiing is right. Five for the champion. He goes to $25 as well. If you're lost in the woods, you can count on your compass to point in what direction, Jennifer? North. North is where it should point. You're right. Jennifer back in the lead. According to the childhood rhyme, step on a crack, you'll break your seat. Break your mother's back. That's what it is. We've got a tie again at 30. Some of the more popular ones are the wall, pea, Brazil, and macadamia. Tom? Nuts. I beg your pardon? Yes, that's right. Nuts it is. <laughs> Tom goes to 25. Yeah. Time for an instant bargain. Player in the lead can always buy bargain merchandise, but we've got a tie right now, and they're looking at each other. They know it. Jennifer and Steve, only one of you can have this when you hear the low sale of the century price. Hit your buzzer for one of you. This is yours. Jennifer or Steve, here's the ideal roommate. A friendly robot, Max Steele, who can be programmed to store 20 phrases and 150 words. It features a moving arm with a fully articulated wrist to allow him to function in a nearly human capacity from the price of his toys. And it's normally priced at $499. And today on Sale of the Century, it's yours for only $5. Whoa! Whoa! I thought somebody would be hitting the buzzer. 
It's a... Hello there, Mr. Robot. Oh, thank you very much. I hope you're a female robot. Uh, do, uh, do you do you work around the house and everything? Yes. Your wish is my command. Uh, gee, Jennifer, for four hundred ninety-nine, it costs you five. Cost, just settle down. Settle down. <laughs> I want Come somebody on. to have four bucks. How often are you going to see something? Three, like two dollars. You can have it going once, Go going twice, and no sale. <laughs> Sorry about that. I think I'm in love. <laughs> no one wanted to buy. Back with this. He plays a Rolling Stone reporter in the movie Perfect. Jennifer? John Travolta. John Travolta it is. And Jennifer goes back into the lead by five. You can push in the champion. A gramophile might collect these in... Tom? Records. I was going to say in 33s, 45s, or 78s. You didn't need it. Records it is. And it's even closer. Five dollars separates three good college players. According to the title of the Tom Robbins bestseller, even cowgirls get the... Uh, Jennifer. Get the blues. You got it. Get the blues and a $10 lead for Jennifer. Yeah. Think about $10. Time for the fame game now. And a $10 money card is up on the board someplace. Buzz in with you know the identity of a famous character. I am a fictional character who was born 57 years ago in the mind of a man. At first, I wore red velvet pants. My name was Mortimer. But my creator's wife thought that was too popular, so they changed it. Tom. Mickey Mouse? Mickey Mouse is right, yeah. Tom, you've earned yourself a ticket I board with nine numbers up there, and you'll get what's behind the number you pick. Which one of those nine look good to you? Something says number eight. And behind number eight, we have Mystery Money, or pick again. Well, Tom, your first opportunity to get some cash. We know there's money there. We don't know how much. You can take the money, or you can pass on it and try to find. I can tell you there is a five and ten dollar money card up there, but money. Yeah. Money, mm. money, <laughs> take the money. You can't pass that up. <laughs> Let's try number seven. Oh, he's going to oh. go for it. And behind number seven, we have six hundred dollars. How do we know how much money? That's six hundred dollars in cash, Tom. Congratulations, that is yours to keep no matter how you finish in the game. That goes right into your pocket. And what helps pay that six hundred dollars are commercial messages. We'll go right back. <laughs> visit the L.A. area and would like to become a contestant on Sale of the Century, call area code 213-557-3555. And now, back to Jim Perry and Sale of the Century. And remember now, at the end of college week, at the end of this week, we go back to regular play. We'd love to have you down here as a contestant sometime. You'd be sitting over here involved in a good game if you were there right now. Jennifer at 40, Steve and Tom both at 30. What ingredient are you adding to your goulash if you're sprinkling Gouda or Gorgonzola? Tom? Cheese. Just beating the champion of the buzzer, cheese it is, and Tom goes in the second place at 35. According to Herman's Hermits, who had a lovely daughter? Oh, that may be a little before your time. That's close. some of the... Anybody know it? Mrs. 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 Brown, you have a lovely daughter, said Herman's Hermits. <laughs> That's a little before you. You were yeah. younger then. Yeah. What place would be a real mess if it were not for the Dewey Decimal System? The library. The library it is. And now $5 separate the players again. It's the lightest of all woods in commercial use. Steve. Bamboo. Uh, no. And it's often used to make model airplanes. Balsa. Balsa wood. And the champion takes a backward step, losing $5, going down to 30 But Jennifer, you've got the lead now all by yourself. You've got a $5 lead over Tom, $10 lead over Steve. Think about that. And think about this. Jennifer, make the most of your driving time with the Panasonic Supreme Elite AM FM stereo cassette car radio with advanced features like electronic tuning and hyper tuner furnished by Panasonic Car Audio and book cassettes, unabridged bestsellers performed on tape. Now you may read with your ears as you drive, walk, jog, or just relax. Book cassettes furnished by Brilliance Corporation. And this driving personal repriced at $739. And today on sale of the century of yours for only $10. Well, now, but never mind, you two. Car stereo and some cassettes to go uh, with it. Do you have a car, Jan? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Did you, it needs something new, though. It, it, it could you maybe use that? Possibly. Oh, $739. I'll, I'll tell you what, Jennifer, I'll give you a shot at it. You've got a $5 lead, so uh -huh. instead of selling you all that beautiful equipment for $10, I'll sell it to you for 5 You'd be in a tie with Tom. Uh, yeah, do it going once, I don't going twice, and know. no sale. Oh, didn't want to take the chance with a $5 lead. Back with this. 
Whenever this fairy little creature's in danger, it plays dead, which gives the expression playing pun. Awesome. Uh, wrong, got it. Yeah, you beat the buzzer. You're right. Awesome it is. I had to check with our judge. You started it before the buzzer, and of course you can finish it. You add another five. You're in a tie with Jennifer at 40. Playing possum. The youngest man to win the Nobel Peace Prize was this civil rights leader. Steve. Martin Luther King. That's right. He was 35 years old, and Steve pulls again within five dollars of Jennifer and Tom. Name the famous building which serves as the headquarters of the London police. Now you know it, Steve. I what? Think Scotland Yard. Yeah, Scotland yeah. Yard. Yeah, buzzer cost you on that one, though. You don't lose anything. No one tried it, so the score stays where it is. What do we call a formation of stars like Orion or Ursa Major? Steve. Constellation. That's right. They're constellations, and we've got a three-way tie. Yeah. Woo! The name of this unpleasant condition which plagues big cities is a combination of the words smoke, Tom? Smog. Smoke and fog is indeed smog, and Tom goes into the lead of 45. Yeah. You know, we get into the summertime this, and, and here in Los Angeles, talk about smog. It's that time of year. As a matter of fact, it was so smoggy this morning in Los Angeles that I opened my window and the smoke alarm went off. We'll be right back. <laughs> continues and a good game here with Tom at 45, Jennifer and Steve both at 40, and 5, 10, and 15 dollar money cards up on the board. Second crack of the fame game and a famous person. I was born in Scotland in 1959. I graduated from music school, qualified to teach, but headed instead for a singing career. By 1981, I was a pop star. Tom. Sheena Easton. You are right. Sheena Easton it is from Scotland, yeah. Tom, again, you've got that pick of the board where you found $600 in cash before. Number six. And behind number six, we have $5. Dollars. The money card. $5 money card added to Tom's score. Puts him into a $10 lead. That, boy, that could be the difference in a very close game. Back with us for all three of you. What decade did Tom Wolfe describe as the me decade? Tom. The 60s? No. Oh, the 70s. The 70s he referred to as the me decade, and it cost you five. Back down to 45. During the revolution, he tried to surrender West Point to the British. Name America's most famous traitor. Tom. Benedict Arnold. You're right. You're bouncing around. You're back into that $10 lead. This front man for the band Genesis has another hit. Steve? Bill Collins. Yeah, all on his own. No jacket required. Bill Collins it is. And Steve goes to 45. But with an instant bargain, Tom, for the first time today, you can buy with a $5 lead. Are you interested in this? Uh, Tom, here's a cool instant bargain. A Whirlpool no-frost freezer with no fingerprint textured steel door. Porcelain on steel interior liner. Adjustable temperature control and power interruption lights furnished by Whirlpool. And a gift certificate for Swenson's Old Fashioned Ice Cream and Fountain Products. Oh, you may indulge in chocolate fantasy sundaes, a banana split, or a triple scoop ice cream cone furnished by Swenson's. Oh, and it's normally priced at $916, and today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $15. Oh, oh is that good stuff? Boy, <laughs> you got a real one and you grab plastic, huh? Well, <laughs> Lou is sitting there going, mm, isn't this good? I grabbed the wrong one. Ah. <laughs> Not now, Tom, the freezer, the ice cream, $916 bargain. Ice cream's great on late night studying. You want it? $15 lead, $15 it would cost. They're pretty tough. They are no. very tough. Would you like that a little better if I drop two-thirds of that price? Wow. You'll be in a tie with Steve if you buy $916 worth of freezer and ice cream for just $5. I don't know. Going once, going twice, and no sale. Oh, I guess he was afraid he was going to grab the plastic there. We'll be right back to a good match. <laughs> Brigham Young, Tom's in the lead at 50, and Steve from the University of Michigan at 45, and Jennifer from San Diego State at 40. Anybody's game. Paraphrasing a quote from the Bible, whatever you sow, you shall... Tom, reap. Reap is right, and Tom goes to 55. In Shakespeare, Goneril, Reagan, and Cordelia were the daughters of what tragic king? <laughs> tragic king? Lear. King uh. Lear. King Lear. No one wanted to try that. Which TV series features police officers Mary Beth and Christine? Tom. 
Cagney and Lacey. Oh, that literature you know. Okay, yes. <laughs> you got another five. Third and final crack of the fame game, and all three of those big money cards are up there, including one worth $25. Famous place. I am a land mass with an area of nearly 12 million square miles. I'm divided into 51 independent countries whose people speak 800 different languages. Are you taking a chance? Africa. Africa is right. The continent of Africa we were looking for. And now I know you're looking for a money card, Steve. What's it going to be? Let's try number two. And behind number two, we have $25. Big one. Where were the other two? Behind the nine and the one. But a big $25 money card gets added to Steve's score. And just like that, the champion is back in the driver's seat as we finish up the game with a speed round. 60 seconds on the clock. Steve at 70, but don't be discouraged, Tom. You're just two questions behind at 60. Jennifer not out of it at 40. A lot of questions as we start the speed round. Now, what was the nickname of frontier lawman William Barclay Masterson? Tom. Bart. Wrong. According to the old saying, you can't have your cake and... Steve. Eat it too. Right. Roseanne Arquette searches for Madonna in the hit movie Jennifer. Desperately Seeking Susan. Right. Name the Robert Louis Stevenson book about a doctor with a split personality. Jennifer. Dr. Uh, Stevenson? Wrong. What mythological strongman was forced to perform? Tom. Ulysses. Wrong. What state is known as the land of 10,000 lakes? Jennifer. Michigan. Wrong. Omega is the last letter in what alphabet? Steve. The Greek alphabet. Right. What former member of the Eagles has a solo hit for the boys? Jennifer. Don Henley. Right. In slang, how much money is a grand? Tom. A thousand. Right. Who hosts TV's American Bandstand? Steve. Dick Clark. Right. Before the United States purchase, what state was known as Russian America? Tom. Alaska. Right. Who, what has seven red stripes, six white stripes, and nine rows? Tom. The American flag. Right. King Farouk was the last ruling king of... Time is up, and Steve is the champion again. And the difference was that $25 money card, because he won by 20. Back with the champion in just a moment. First of all, the land of 10,000 lakes is Minnesota. It was Hercules who had to perform 12 labors. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde was the Robert Louis Stevenson book. And William Barclay Masterson, Bat Masterson. We got to say goodbye to Tom and Jennifer. Tom, you're not going home empty-handed with $665 in cash. Thank you for joining us. Jennifer didn't pick up anything along the way, but some lovely party gifts, I'm sure. And with the cash in front of you, thank you. For both of you, good luck with your studies. Thank you for joining us. But Steve Shapiro again joins me at the winner's board. Come on, Steve. Well, that time you needed that big money card. Yes, you won by $20, so that $25 money card paid off. Now it could pay off with a video center, a windsurfer, a trip to the Bahamas, and something nice for the fraternity. How about this jukebox? Enjoy the sounds of music with the sensational jukebox. With dynamic running lights adjustable for different speeds and rhythms. And eight speakers for great sound reproduction. From Jukeboxes for Rent. This prize is worth $3,295. Nice prize. That is just one of the prizes up here on the winner's board, and you have done very well at this board with, uh, what, four bikes and then 10000 in cash on the last show. So maybe you continue to get lucky. Who knows? Maybe the car right now. Right combination, it's yours. When you make a match, you've got a prize. Good luck. Start picking, Steve. Let's try number five. Number five to start off with, and that's the jukebox. Fifteen. Number 15, win card. Next thing you pick is an automatic match. You found $10,000 on the last show after a win card. What's it going to be? Number 20. Number 20 for the win, and you got the trip. You've been eyeing that trip. He wanted it. He's got it. And Steve is off to the Bahamas. Jay Stewart's going to tell him all about it. Cruise ahoy in the beautiful Bahamas. We'll fly you and a guest from Los Angeles to the Bahamas for a six-day Windjammer Barefoot Cruise. Casual sailing adventure in the exotic Caribbean for both old salts and land lovers. Furnished by Windjammer Barefoot Cruises. And this trip is worth $2,750.
Oh, that is terrific. That's the and that's something you've really been eyeing. I was looking at that one. Here come some tickets for you. You've got yourself a trip for two to the Bahamas. Congratulations! And you're, you're, who was saying that you you should just win a trip? And I'm all? gonna have to fight. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a struggle with all my friends. I have a feeling. Oh, like okay. That. All right. Good. <laughs> this is a diplomat, friends. I'm telling you, you're going into the diplomatic course. <laughs> Steve, you'll do very well. Congratulations. You've got the trip you've been eyeing. You've got a lot of cash. You've got other wonderful things and a great total for this fine college champion. We'll give it to you and wrap things up for today right after this commercial time. <laughs> Of course, you could stay on if you're the champion at the end of college week and play on if you'd like. And you could stay here till you get every prize off that board, plus till you add this. $50,000 in cash! And of course, it totals over $100,000 in cash and prizes that could be yours. And my goodness, Steve is sure taking a bite into that. He's got himself uh, $10,500 in cash, the trip you've been eyeing, the bikes. Not too bad. Three-day total for our fine player from the University of Michigan. $16,015 in cash and prizes. And college week continues tomorrow on Sale of the Century. Buses totaling $16,015. Today, one of our contestants could win a home video center, a motor scooter, a jukebox, or a trip to the Bahamas. And continue a journey towards a fortune in cash and prizes including this Mazda RX-7 and $50,000 in cash. In total, over $100,000 on sale of the century. And now, here's the star of our show, Jim Perry. Go away. Thank you. Well, I don't have you with us. Good-looking group. Welcome to Sample of the Century. College Week continues. Let's welcome back our college champion from the University of Michigan, Steve Shapiro. Hi, Steve. How are you, Jim? I'm fine. How are you doing? Feeling fantastic. Wow. You, after hitting that winner's board for $10,000 in cash on the last show, you got a trip that you've been wanting, a trip to the Bahamas. Sounds exciting. I've never been. Oh, you got to have a boat and the whole thing. That should be just terrific. We look forward. Are you all set to go again? I'm ready. All right, good luck. Fine player. Here to introduce, uh, I'm sure, a couple of other good fine college players is Summer Bartholomew. Hello <laughs> there, Summer. Hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you. By the way, Jim, a lot of people, I mean, thousands of people, <laughs> asking me how tall this man is. How tall are you, Jim? Uh, let's see. You're six foot one. I must be seven foot not two. Six foot one. Who did you. <laughs> This young lady attends Brandeis University and is majoring in European Cultural Studies from Malibu, California. Help us greet Lisa Lickhalter. Hello there, Lisa. And this young man has a double major in chemistry and bi biology at UC Irvine from Laguna Hills, California. Here's Kavion Shahi. Hello there, Kavion. Actually, I'm, I'm six foot four, so you must be about six foot. I will see you a little bit later, all right? Seven and three quarters. <laughs> see you later with some markets. Kavion, your uh, chemistry and biology, what, what are your ambitions when you get out? Well, I'd like to go to medical school and hopefully graduate and um, continue on in internal medicine. Well, it sounds like you got a lot more years ahead a of you there, right? A lot more. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's making yeah. you nervous as you say it there. Yes. Good to have you here, Kavya. Thank you. And Lisa, uh, European Cultural Studies. Sounds fascinating. What are your plans? Um, I'd like to go into international advertising, and next year I'm going to study in Paris. Oh, oh that's <laughs> terrific. From the University of Paris or something, right? <laughs> yeah, so nice, nice to have you here as well, Lisa. Thanks. Good luck to all three of you. Let's get started with $20 in this question. Who lived on 39 Stone Canyon Way, next door to good friends Barney and Betty Rubble? Steve. Fred Flintstone. Fred Flintstone is right. You find out what the correct answer. You go to 25. I like to start to show off with a nice, heavy, literary question. You <laughs> understand, right. friends. In billiards, what is the number of the only black ball? Steve. Eight. Eight ball it is, and two in a row for the champion. He goes to 30. What kind of jockey rides records on the radio? Kevin. Disc jockey. Disc jockey it is. Kevin gets his first correct answer. Goes to 25. And get some encouragement along the way. What sour red berry is grown in a bog? Steve. Cranberry? Cranberry it is. Steve goes to 35. Yep. An easy target is sometimes referred to as a sitting Steve. Duck. Duck is, is it Steve. Goes to 40. $15 lead for the champion already. And it's time for an instant bargain. Player in the lead gets to buy bargain merchandise. Steve, $15 lead this early is a pretty good lead. You can buy this. Built-in answering machine, remote control unit, automatic dialing tone pulse settings, and speaker 
phone from Green and Roberts. And because talk isn't always cheap, we're throwing in $200 for long distance phone calls. And it's normally priced at $489. And today on sale of the century, it's yours for only $6. Just $6? That's terrific. That's terrific. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Summer, it sounds like you got a head cold. <laughs> Six bucks, Steve. You've got a fifteen-dollar lead, and it's only six dollars. The phone, great phone, and some cash involved with it. I'm running up quite a phone bill out here in California, calling home to Ohio. So that I will imagine. But what I tell you, with a fifteen-dollar lead, it would cost you just six. You'd still have a big lead of nine dollars. I'm going to leave that price where it is. Four hundred eighty-nine dollars cash and phone for just six bucks. Going once, going twice, and he'll buy. Enjoy that. Great phone. You'll enjoy that. You got some cash. The whole thing costs you just $6. We knock it off your score. He's down to 34 but still a $9 lead. Back with all three of you in this. According to the movie title, what kind of factory did Willy Wonka own? Come in. Chocolate factory. Chocolate factory it is. Come in. Goes to 30. If your car has a standard transmission, what is the pedal you push, Tavian? The clutch. Before shifting gears, you are right. The clutch it is. Tavian goes into a $1 lead over the champion. In the fairy tale, what could Rumpelstiltskin weave? Lisa. Gold. From straw, gold it was. And Lisa gets her first five. All right, that's the 25. Always good to get that first one yeah. under your belt, right? Come on, well, now you've all, you're all on the plus side, so we're going to play the fame game. Playing for a pick of the board. A lot of good things up there. Buzz in when you know a famous person. I was born in Illinois and grew up to become a comedian and an actor. I started to study medicine, but quit when I learned that it involved years of study. I drifted into show business, joined the Second City Group, and then the National Lampoon Review. I was with Saturday Night Live for four years. Kevin. John Belushi. Incorrect. Out of the rest of the question. No dollar value. You stay at 35. You're playing for a pick of the board. Well, clear the board. Continue for Lisa and Steve. I made my movie debut in Meatballs. Steve. Bill Murray. Bill Murray it is. Yes, indeed. And Steve, you earned a pick of the board. Nine numbers. You'll get what's behind the number you pick. Number three. And behind number three, we have Mystery Money, your pick again. Well, Steve, you already pocketed 10500 and some dollars in cash. Do you want to pocket some more, or do you want to pass on that and pick another number? Do it. I love a surprise. Let's see what's yeah. in the Mystery Money. All right. righty, Summer, what's the Mystery Money he's going to get? $900 in cash. Great Mystery Money. Congratulations. That gets added to your total. That's yours to keep, no matter how you finish in the game. I love that. He was going to study medicine, but quit when he learned that it involved years of study. Makes sense to me. We'll be right back. Lisa from Brandeis University at 25, and Steve from the University of Michigan at 34. Good close game. Back to it. After your spaghetti, the waiter brings a dish of Italian ice cream filled with Steve? Spumoni. Come, uh, candied fruits and nuts. What's it called? Spumoni it is. <laughs> oh, you took a chance. It paid off. Happy back in the lead. According to the title of this song from Beverly Hills Cop, Patty LaBelle is found in... Cavian. New attitude. That's what she found, and Cavian goes back in the lead. There are four railroads on the Monopoly board. Name any, Cavian. B&O. B&Q. <laughs> Oh, no, that's wrong. Oh, and I'm sorry, and it's wrong for an odd reason. Name any two of them. You name one B and O, and then B and Q is not one of them. If you had said Pennsylvania short line or Reading with B and O, you would have been right. Quick buzzer cost. You're sorry about that, Cavian. You lose five back down to 35. What do it? B and Q sounds like a good railroad, though. What do we call the rows of benches found in a church? Lisa. Um, Hughes. Hughes is exactly right. Lisa goes to 30. They get a cluster. <laughs> Speaking of pew, it has nothing to do with this instant bargain that Steve could buy. Steve, we mean business with these gifts. First, a handsome Ethan Allen roll-top desk, a classic design in sturdy pine, ample drawer space with letter compartments behind the roll-top, furnished by Tradition House, and a portable typewriter. It weighs only five pounds, so you can carry it with you anywhere, featuring one-line memory in German, French, and Spanish punctuation from Future Chronics. And it's normally priced at $829. And today on Sale of the Century, it's yours for only $11. Isn't that nice? The desk, the typewriter, the whole thing. My college essay. Now is the time for all good men to cut. Good, Greg. Good. That's original. Great desk, great uh, typewriter, the whole thing. Steve, $829. Do you like it? That's very sharp. You want to look nice. good at school, right? I sure would. The typewriters. 
Typewriter you could use. I'd really like to help you with your senior paper. He's going to be a senior this year. Typewriter would do it. I want to help you so much, Steve, that not the $11 that Summer mentioned, but you would be trailing by $1 if I sold it to you for... I don't want you to be trailing. Four bucks. You can have all of this. Four dollars, you'd be in a tie. Going once. Going twice. She's going to buy. Enjoy all of that for four dollars. Wow. That is a great buy. And as we knock the four dollars off your score, you are now in a tie with Cavian and Lisa just one question behind. One of Bruce Springsteen's biggest hits of 1984 was a lively tune called Dancing in the Steve. Dancing in the Dark. Dancing in the Dark it is as Steve goes into the lead by five. Yes. I know all that rock music. Dancing in the Dark with my truth. No, that's not it, huh? In 1982, the New York Times bestseller list had seven books on it about this comic cat. Hey, Garfield. Yeah, there were seven about Garfield, my goodness. Bobby, and again, keeps the pace with Steve at 40. What military academy will you find near Colorado Springs? Steve. Air Force Academy. Air Force it is, Steve. Back in the belief by five. Flora is cat life. What's Flora? Lisa. Um, fish. Oh, no, no. Animal life, plant life, animal life. Of course, you're an animal. What? Yes. Fish is an animal. Lisa got a big kick out of missing that five dollar question. I'm sorry. It's okay. Oh, well, we have to knock five dollars off your score. Is that okay? Sure. Okay. I'll pick it up. That's a, that's a way to feel. Safety, electric, and straight are three types of what cutting instrument? Cutting. Knife. Razor. Oh, no, I have to take your first answer. I'm sorry. Razor it is. You said knife first. Yes, yeah, straight razor, safety razor, electric razor. And Cavian loses five, going down to 35. And Steve's got a $10 leap. Talking about razors, this, absolutely true, this ad appeared in a Salt Lake City newspaper. Man or woman to work in an advertising agency making razor blade commercials. Must have heavy beard. Man or woman with heavy beard. <laughs> I hope the circus was in town that week. We'll be right back. <laughs> well, as we continue, since Steve's at $45, Cavian at $35, Lisa at $25, 5 10 and $15 money cards are up on the board. Second crack of the fame game and a famous person. I am an actor and director born in Wisconsin in 1915. I've been accused of flamboyance and shallowness, but my artistic independence has inspired many young filmmakers. In 1938, I directed a radio broadcast that realistically described a fictional invasion. Steve? Orson Welles. Ah, men from Mars. Yes, indeed. Orson Welles it is. And Steve earns himself another pick of that board. Sign number four. And behind number four, we have a mantle clock. Michael C. Fina's 1810 Americana mantle clock. With Westminster Quarter Hour striking movement in a genuine walnut hand rubbed case. Furnished by the Michael C. Fina Company. Very lovely. It's worth over $400. Yours to keep, of course. I think that's the first time you haven't found either cash or a money card up there on that board. And, of course, Lisa and Cavian are happy didn't find a money card. Back to business. What does the P stand for in the organization known as OPEC? Lisa. Oh, packed. Packed. No. 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 Petroleum. 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 Organization Petroleum. Petroleum. Sorry about that, Lucy. Lisa. Lisa, you okay. lose my... Okay, thank you. <laughs> She's forgiven. Think... She's forgiven me. From the Greek, for beautiful writing, this word describes the art of fine penmanship. What is it? Lisa. Calligraphy? I'll give you the five back. That's what it is. Calligraphy it is. Lisa goes back to 25. On July 3rd, 1971, the music world was shocked by the death of the lead singer of the rock group called The Doors. Steve. Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison it is as he beats Cavian in the buzzer. And Steve goes to 50. And Steve, you've got yourself now a $15 lead and a great, great instant bargain. Steve, it'll be love at first serve at this exciting tennis college. You and a friend will journey to a celebrated tennis college in Southern California for five swinging days. You supply the enthusiasm and we'll supply the transportation by car. There, you'll get up to six hours per day of actual court instruction time with tennis pros. It's a great chance to really learn the game. And it's normally priced at $1,650. And today on the sale of the century, it's yours for only $16. Oh, that's terrific. Very nice. Steve, you play tennis? I was just picking it up last summer, but I, I, I'm a big golfer, actually. I'm trying to learn tennis. Well, this is a great opportunity. I mean, what, was it a week? You said six days? 
six days. Wow. And that's, they, they teach you the tennis, and you eat, you stay there, you sleep. $1,650 trip for six. You've got a $15 lead, Steve. So I'll do two things. I will knock a dollar off that price. That makes it a $15 bargain, so you'd be in a tie with caveat, plenty of time to get the lead back again. And in case there wasn't enough spending money, or you might want to buy some tennis balls to go with it, I will throw in to making an over $2,000 bargain, $400 in cash. That's you'd be in a tie, you'd have that great tennis week and the cash for 15 bucks. Going once, going twice, he's gonna lie. Enjoy the tennis week, enjoy the cash, and we will enjoy a great game as Tavia and Steve are now in a tie, and Lisa just two questions behind and smiling all the way. We'll be right back. Jello brand gelatin pops presents the little rascals. Try the pop to taste the crew. Closer, Steve and Caviar both at 35, and Lisa at 25. Back to business. In ancient Greece, the winner of a sporting event might be crowned with a wreath made from this tree. Captain. Thorn? No, oh no. <laughs> the winner gets a thorn? No, no. Laurel. Laurel. A laurel wreath. They finish the second, they put thorns in it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that, Gabby, and you lose $5 down to 30. In what Stephen King thriller is the main character of Mad St. Bernard? Kevin. Cujo. Cujo it is. Yeah, that one he's sure about. He's back in the time. This Austrian bodybuilder is known to movie audiences, Kevin. Arnold Schwarzenegger. You are right, and Kevin goes into the lead by five. Yes. Yeah. Well, third and final crack of that fame game. Uh, it was at this point in the last show that Steve was trailing and found a $25 money car. So, a famous person. I was born in Germany in 1879 and died in 1955. When I was a boy, my father showed me a pocket compass which set Kevin. Albert Einstein. That's right! Wow! I'm gonna say it set the tone for his future. Kevin, you've got a pick of the board right now and a big one. I take eight. And behind the parade, we have $15! Good to the other two big ones. Well, this time, the shoe is on the other foot as we had $15 at Cavian score, and now the champion has to play catch-up as we finish up the game with a speed round. 60 seconds on the clock, please. Cavian at 55, Steve at 35, Lisa at 25. Good luck to three nice young people as we start the speed round now. On what Washington, D.C. Avenue is the White House located? Lisa? Pennsylvania. Right. What is the nickname of the American warship, USS Constitution? Yeah, Cavian. Ironside. Yes. In what bar, uh, movie did we first meet Han Solo as Luke Skywalker? Lisa. Star Wars. Right. Which southern state has its capital at Frankfurt? Steve. Time. Time. Name the Spanish queen who financed Columbus's voyage. Lisa. Isabel. What? Uh, Isabella. Yes. In the expression to the victor belong the... Steve. Spoils. Right. What can't you do if you have insomnia? Steve. Right. Name the chubby infant who was the Roman god of love. Lisa. Cupid. Right. What mathematical process would you use to produce a sum? Steve. Addition. Right. Draw, strip, and stud are three varieties. Come in. Card games. Uh, more? Uh. Time. What mighty animal is the largest member of the eight? Come in. Gorilla. Right. In the Beatles song, who was in the sky with diamonds? Come in. Lucy. Right. Name the comedian whose funny films include Time is Up and Come In is the new champion. Congratulations. Action Cavian in just a moment, and he won by that $20 he went into. Draw, strip, and stud. We had to be a little more specific. They are pop they are card games, but they are specifically poker. And Frankfurt is the capital of Kentucky. I have to say goodbye to Steve, but my goodness, Steve, he's done so well with the watches, the bikes. He's got a trip, another trip to the Bahamas, the tennis camp, the desk, the typewriter, $11,645 in cash, over two, over $20,750. Good luck with your study. Much, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Lisa didn't think of anything along the way. We thank you. You've got a great sense of humor. Good luck thank with your you. studies. That's a nice party good for you. Thank you, Lisa. But Cavian joins me now at the winner's board. Come on, Cavian. You did it. Congratulations. And our new champion goes up to the winner's board. You'll face a whole new board, 20 numbers. You could win a beautiful leather wardrobe. There is a fantastic jukebox, motor scooter, and how about going along the water in this? Enjoy an out.
outdoor adventure with this exciting windsurfer sailboard. You may take to the waves for this great water sport. Combine sails and surfboard for an exhilarating ride. Furnished by Windsurfing International Incorporated. And this prize is worth $1,271. All right, Tommy, on the other car would not be bad. He's listening about the boat, but he's looking at the car. It's up here. Whole new board. Everything has been shuffled. When you find a match, the prize is yours. Tommy, and good luck. Let's top off a big win. Let's see what you're going to get. I'll start with number 19. Number 19. He's looking for a match, and he starts with a win card. The next thing you pick is an automatic match. Tommy, and good luck. What's it going to be? 18. Number 18 for the win, and he gets the shoot box. That's a nice drive. That is a great, great drive. Jay's going to tell you all about it. You'll enjoy it. Enjoy the sounds of music with the sensational jukebox. With dynamic running lights adjustable for different speeds and rhythms. And eight speakers for great sound reproduction. This prize is worth $3,295. $3,000, that should be a lot of fun. That's a nice item. You got it. Congratulations Thank again. We'll be back much. with our new college champion right after this. Seventeen <laughs> years later, and we still can't resolve you this. this way. You see this? We'll Ray? be back with more. <laughs> 1969 Mets ring. We'll be Who's back right? with more on the 69 Mets and Cubs in a moment. <laughs> <laughs> In countries you've never heard of. Toyota. Through towns you could never find. Toyota. Toyota has the corner on performance. Now it's at your Toyota dealers. 1986 MR2 twin cam mid-engine two-seater. All new 86 Celica GTS twin cam. All new front wheel drive. Now on top of reliability and dependability, your Toyota dealer has the corner on performance too. Who could ask for anything more? This bugs for all that you do. They said this city was through. You said, no way. Each day the spirit's growing. Your pride is really showing. You, you make America work. And this bugs for you. Here's to you. Beechwood Age for that clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. This bugs for you. Now you can avoid the high cost of hiring a professional plumber by handling many repairs yourself with professional quality master plumber repair parts and fittings from True Value Hardware Stores. They come with step-by-step -step instructions for easy installation. And when you choose master plumber parts and fittings, you can be sure your repairs will last because they're all quality constructed to resist corrosion and wear. Look for them exclusively at participating True Value Hardware Stores and Home Center. 
of the Central Court just blew. Steve McQueen, Paul Newman, The Towering Inferno, Tuesday night at 7 on Channel 9. 1969 was a year of no-hitters and near no-hitters. There's a drive, left center field. There goes the no-hitter. And Jimmy Qualls is on first base for the Cubs. So young Tom Seaver, as the crowd groans and moans his disappointment, has just seen Qualls get a base hit with one out of the ninth inning. He had retired 25 Cubs in a row. Kenny, you lost three no-hitters in the ninth inning. What did Tom Seaver feel like when he lost his no-hitter in the ninth? Well, if he felt like I felt when I lost mine, it was pretty frustrating uh, because usually in those kind of games from maybe the fifth or sixth inning on, I think you realize what's happening. Uh, you tend to concentrate uh, a, a little bit harder than you did early on in the game. I'm sure he must have felt frustrated uh, when I think it was Jimmy Qualls got that hit in 1969. I can remember the three individuals who got the hit off me in the ninth inning that broke it up. And I, yet I was disappointed, but actually it didn't last that long because the next out ends the game and you did win, so it's a little bit of consolation. Now, when you're no hitter, there were a lot of memorable moments. What are the things that stick out in your mind in that game against the Braves and Wrigley? Well, certainly any game like that has to have a share of fine defensive play. Uh, Glenn Beckert uh, certainly made uh, three or four excellent defensive plays. He also made the last out of the game on a ball hit by Henry Aaron. Uh,